Welcome back to Daytime Live. Right now we're joined by Kindred, and he's here to teach us about self-healing solutions. Welcome, General. Give thanks, my brother. Blessings, blessings. It's yes, good I. to see you again. Thank you. All right, so you call yourself a body janitor, and so you teach people, you know, how to learn to live pain-free without medication. So we're curious, how are you started? So the last time I came on air, I was talking to uh, Neville about the fact that we think we're clean, but on the inside, we have blockages. We have putrid blood stuck to the inside of our vein walls, etc. We think our blood is red and beautiful, but it isn't. Um, and so we put him on the bench, which a lot of people were talking about. They preferred if I had Simone on the bench, but it was <laughs> Neville, and I did my best. And um, so we noticed that his hands couldn't go. Ready. His hands couldn't go flat to the bench. I even pressed down on them at a point where he said, "Woi, woi, I feel it now." So any pain experienced in an aligned position is indication of blockages, and any inflexibilities are indication of blockages. So a baby is born completely flexible. As you grow older, you get added stiffness. Complete stiffness is death. So stretching in any way every day improves your quantity and quality of years. Mm -hmm. But today we want to talk about PIDA. How do you clean, not just re-straighten the lines, but clean the system? Kindred, I love wow. you, you know. But you know, she's not answering my question, I know. What was the question? You want to know how you start out, but is that right? I didn't we even hear that yeah. part. <laughs> <laughs> I, so, I, I appreciate all of that, that FYI. <laughs> uh, so many other exercises about yeah, stretching, as the, you The said. mission is to raise awareness so yeah, Jamaicans yeah, I appreciate know that they can it. do no these problem. things for themselves and start to help the medical faculty Beautiful. with the process of reducing like the load okay. on the hospital. Okay. We still love our doctors. We still right. need diagnosis. We still need emergency help. And for, but for a lot of the simple disease, complex disease, and pain that we feel, we can take on a lot of it for ourselves. Love God. that. So Love wh that. why is stressing, stretching so important to the body? Well, as I said, the baby is completely flexible. All the energy is able to flow, right? So in essence, you get these blockages, stuff gets stiffer, energy can't flow through your body, immune system is disabled. So in essence, what we do is, as I said, Bonnie Janitor, what we're doing is we're cleaning internally. Mm -hmm. Once we clean that, we are not doing any healing work. The healing work is already designed by source, wherever mm -hmm. we come from, however God created us. Like, we just have a dirty body and we need to clean it. Gotcha. All right, That's so it. Kindred, what I love is that you're actually going to show us some yes, of these exercises uh, now, yes. Right. yes. And um, <laughs> as you're doing it, talk us through, right. and I know that there are certain disclaimers you want to ensure that you state as well. Definitely. For some of them. So we're going to teach Jamaica right now how to clear their heart, but please, before you engage in this practice, just listen to what I have to say. So healing reactions are expected. What that means is that every single disease that's ever happened, ever happened to you has left some blockages in your channels. And we're going to be cleaning that today. We're also going to be cleaning blockages that are affecting you now, symptomatically. We're also going to be cleaning some blo blockages that are preparing to affect, affect you in the future. And so as a result of that, the symptoms of old disease can rear their heads. So let me ask both of you a very important question. Have you ever fainted? Yes. Yes. Have you ever had a seizure? No. Okay. So I will stay real close to Craigie because we expect, unless he doesn't want to try, the re today in this moment, but we expect the release of these symptoms. So in essence, we would expect me to faint. You to have that symptom once again. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, how often do you have that uh, Not often, but once recently. Once recently. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Okay. So it will be best if you're sitting down still, Craigie himself. All right. But all right. So now, can we get two chairs? That would be lovely for both of them to be absolutely comfortable. Of course, we can expect healing reactions. A little dizziness is possible. A little bit of nausea is possible. Um, every shoes. orifice in your body becomes a channel for release while you're doing this. So you may sweat a little, which is why we ask for the air condition to be turned off in the studio while we're doing this particular demonstration. <laughs> um, you know, release can happen in many different ways. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be working on our left inner elbow. This is where the heart is. This is where we hold stress. High blood pressure and low blood pressure can be reversed, the symptoms of those, by cleaning this particular area to begin with. Mm -hmm. um, also, high blood, uh, rather, heart attack and stroke. Tell your loved ones, because you can't do it for yourself if you're having a heart attack or a stroke. Slapping right here is more effective than a heart attack or, sorry, is more effective than CPR in the event of a heart attack or a stroke. And if you catch it within 15 minutes of that uh, event occurring, uh, our lovely doctors will not be able to detect that that heart attack or stroke happened, right? If the person is already immobile, is completely um, lying flat in bed from that stroke, they'll have to do what we all should learn to do, which is what I teach everyone, which is how to do full body PIDA, how to clear the entire body, and then also some lifestyle hacks like soaking your feet in warm water every day to create homeostasis. Whether you're overweight or underweight, it will bring you to weight. Um, it will help with disease conditions, sub-health sub conditions as well. 
Um, before we do the patting, let me just show a particular squat that everybody should be able to do. So a baby does this easily. If you go on National Geographic, you will see them around the fireside. Their buttocks would be touching their heels, and it's as simple as this. They're having a oh, conversation. Oh, that's how my uncle used to rest, you know. Right. And then a more advanced version of this. Everybody should be able to do this, and if you can't, your kidney, liver, and spleen channels have blockages in them, and we'll teach you how to clear those as well. To do the more advanced position, you put the feet completely together, and I'll turn to the side for the camera. Buttocks right down, right? And then wow. squeezing, we call this hugging, hugging the yes. baby, hugging the baby and dropping the head forward. No, I can't. Ready? I can't, I can't. And we would hold this position one. for 15 minutes. So the first one, stand up again one. for me, Craigie. Stand up. So I want your feet facing forward. Don't spread them out right. And then go down now. Do you want to hold on to the chair um, for support? Or you're okay? I think I'm, I think I'm all right, okay. All right, so feet facing forward and then let's go down. Buttocks to the heels if possible with the heels still flat on the ground. Oh. Watch his mic. Not bad. My mic? Not bad. Um, so we have a, that buttock is not on the ground. Are you feeling any pain? Nada? No. <laughs> okay, so basically that would be the starting position. I showed you the advanced position. And yeah. you're, the advanced. When you're, no, when you're in this position, the, the pain that you're feeling are blockages. And if you literally do the pida, which we will teach you on the, on the uh, left inner elbow right now, if you apply that to any joint on the body, if you apply that to any part while stretching that you feel pain, the pain will be released on your neck. So Kindred, I notice Clive is trying, so but if, he if keeps he, if falling he, over. Yes, what that, does that that's mean? That's indication of, him, of blockages as well. So even if he can actually come right down like Craig can, but then he's tumbling, it's still an indication of blockages. Um, and as I was saying, you'll have people who can't squat past here. And right. after a round of clearance this way and that way, which has to happen after the heart. So let us do the heart first, Jamaica. Okay. Um, the person can squat much further, if not right down, instantly. So the blockages is what creates the inflexibility. Let's see. All right. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Ready? So right hand to left inner elbow. This is where I sit, right? Yes. Both of you can have a seat. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, because we're not taking a check either. No, we're not taking any check, right? Now, this is not a medical practice. Anybody can pat on their skin and anybody can stick a leg up in the air, which is what the stretching looks like on the bench and yeah. the other types that we do. Now so we're going to be placing right. the right hand on the left inner elbow. Mm -hmm. We're going to make sure the palm of the hand though is what's going to make the contact. So come over a little bit more with your placement. No, stay where you are. Okay. Right there. Ah. Your hand is going to be completely relaxed. Take the ring off for me, please. Hand is going to be completely relaxed. That's great placement. And mm -hmm. when we do pida, we are not keeping a firm wrist and we're not hitting down. We are going to relax the wrist. It's going to be very bouncy and floppy. A lot of Jamaicans don't tend to have a floppy wrist, but we need to encourage this relaxation should in order for the technique extreme, to work. Should fully extended? Or yeah, man. Relax, but fully extended relaxed, so okay. you can access it. And you're going to simply raise the hand and allow gravity to drop it, rather the arm, not the hand. So raise and drop, raise and drop. Right, simple as that. But allow the wrist to flash back. So for example, do like, go like this first. Both, right. And then slow that down and apply that rhythm with the wrist flashing backward and forward to the area. Beautiful. Do any of you feel any stinging pain? Yes. Okay. So Jamaica, all of the stinging pain that you may be feeling if you are trying this right now um, is the blockages. It is the poisoned blood and the polluted blood that's stuck to the inside of the veins. Where there is blockage, there is pain. Mm -hmm. Right? And where there is more blockage, there is more pain. Right? Yeah. So if you relax mm -hmm. the, the, the hand more, you'll feel a little bit more stinging. But what is actually happening is that the stuff that's stuck inside the vein is squeezing through, continue if you don't mind, okay, sure. is squeezing through the mesh-like wall of the vein. And if they continue to do this for perhaps three to five minutes, in the areas that it hurts the most, we will actually see a change on the color of their skin because the blockages, which literally are in there beforehand, will be showing themselves. Now, if those colors come up as close to pink or red, then we know that this is a blockage that is not very putrid. It has not become very toxic. However, if it comes up blue, mm -hmm. or if it comes up purple, or if it comes up black, or if it comes up black with white sand in it, which is the most toxic version of this blockage, wow. um, then we will get a chance to not only release this stuff from our body, Jamaica, but we will also get a chance to diagnostically see how bad it was. So mine and is getting red. B keep working. Wow. Beautiful. Can the cameras go in and zoom in on <laughs> Sonique's hand? And They're Jamaica, showing it. Please. Yeah. This is a very right important now. moment in Jamaica's history when traditional Chinese medicine is being broken down into a very practical exercise that you can use to clean your inner circulatory system. Now, if someone goes on the road and sees a mark like what is on Sonique's hand, Sonique's hand they would, without the information I have shared about these blockages being released, 
I'm sure, Sonique, your family would be concerned. They would be thinking Very. that your relationship might be a little bit too toxic. <laughs> you know, a, lo a lot of stories could come out of this, right? Really? If it is that Craigie, you're not seeing anything, one or two no, things. it's red. It's red. I yeah. know, but if you take I, a look at hers, so we have take a to. look at hers. Ah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And so if you're not seeing anything, but you're feeling pain, it means your uh, technique may not be great okay. because you're using your fingers still, but also relax the wrist. Oh, so um, I'm sorry. We also, one fingers. final thing. If you want to get rid of that, Sonique, you yeah. continue to pat on that until it goes away as if it was never there to begin with. You can clear your it. hand within the next 45 minutes if you want Social to. media, quickly, we got to Social go. media, Pidalagin Secrets JA on TikTok and on Instagram, number 909-3067. I am based in Kingston, serving by appointment only on Wikiwaki Beach currently, and also for the other two weeks of the month, I am serving through Rastafari Indigenous Village Thank you, in Kindred. Montego Bay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, so we got to go. Um, we'll please remember to check on your loved ones and to support each other as a community. Mine is redder than yours. Yeah, you're Th please. <laughs> Thank you for watching and remember to tune in on Tuesday oh, for Tuesday. more buzz, chat, vibe and mix. Be safe. Have a wonderful weekend. We love you. Thank you. Would you like me to pat yours? <laughs>